In his final report from Communicasia 2009, Tony Pula speaks to the CEOs behind Singapore's pioneering national broadband network. With its next-generation national broadband network rollout underway, Singapore is learning lessons and setting examples for countries around the world. Tony Pulos spoke with key players at Communicasia 2009 about how they will work together to meet some very aggressive timelines. The two companies, OpenNet and uh, Nucleus Connect, have come together in, in many forums. But there's at least two committees been put in place. One is a steering committee, the second is a rollout committee. Um, there's no delays in escalation. If, uh, if we have any problems, it's going straight to the steering committee, and the steering committee has the CEOs of both companies, plus um, a high-profile officer from IDA. So we, we make the decision very, very fast as to what the next step is and how we overcome any of the roadblocks. I'm glad to say we haven't hit too many so far. Um, we've got an agreed rollout plan that was done within 14 days between the two companies. That was uh, fantastic. We were meant to have three months to do that, and we did it in 14 days. So the, the two companies have been working very, very tightly together. The moment IDA have announced uh, that uh, Nucleus Connect are being selected to be the OPCO for the next gen MBN, we already started uh, having discussion with, the, with, his, with uh, David's team to finalise all the workflows, uh, to ensure that uh, we have uh, sufficient time to do all the OSS, BSS system. Uh, and allow the customer to have the connectivity as soon as possible. One of the areas that we've been looking at is processes. Um, if you were a vertically integrated operator, you would have a very seamless system uh, through your backroom systems, through your operational support, through your billing systems. Uh, here we've got potentially three segments. So we've been working very closely together to make sure that these processes are put in place because the likelihood is that we'll have one vendor uh, equipment and they'll have a different one. So the handshaking between the two has to be as seamless as we possibly can get. And I'm really pleased to see the progress that's been done between the two companies. There are a few, few countries come and approach me to check how we, how we are doing. I mean, why should we go for such a separation? And I think everyone's are keen to know or keen to monitor what is going on in Singapore. But I must say, uh, not, not one size fits all. I think every country, the governments or regulator have to look into their geography, their existing network, the culture, the lifestyle of their populations, their economic situation, or even what's their industrial or business need before they decide which model to choose.